Hey everyone, it's Liz from Learn Robotics here, and I just wanted to give you a little tutorial on how to use the serial monitor, how to print data from your Arduino or from your robot to the serial monitor, and then also how to use the Arduino's built-in serial plotter for data visualization. So I've got this light sensor code open from a previous blog article. If you're interested in reading that, it's on how to make a photovore, so you can find that on the Learn Robotics blog. But what I've done is I've commented out the sensors that I don't have right now plugged in. So I, I just have one LDR plugged into pin A1 on the Arduino, which you can see set up right over here. And then I've just got myself a breadboard here with a photoresistor or an LDR. And I'm going to use this to capture some light data. And as you can see, I'm just in a standard room in natural daylight. So nothing spectacular going on here right now and I've got some readings printing out in my serial monitor. So to access that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the serial monitor magnifying glass, or you can go up to tools and serial monitor, and that will open up your serial monitor so that you can view some of these readings. So what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you have this serial.begin set up in your setup method. So just go ahead and type in serial.begin, 9600 is gonna be your baud rate. And then when you open up your serial monitor, just make sure that your baud rate is set to 9600. And you'll start to see some readings come in. So what I have is a piece of brown construction paper here. I'm going to just put it over the top of this LDR just so that you can see that I've got some readings reflecting of not seeing much light. And then I've got my cell phone flashlight here. And it's the exact opposite. So now I've, I'm reading in a bunch of light values. It's very bright. And then this is just the natural daylight. So as you can see, um, it's, it's very easy to pull these readings in. And from here, you can write down these numbers or create a threshold of numbers and use this to make decisions. So if you want to follow the light, you can move towards larger numbers. Or if you want to avoid light, you can move away from the larger numbers and move towards smaller numbers. The possibilities are endless for what you can do with this. And this is just a good way of understanding what's going on as you're capturing in your data. So the next tutorial that I want to show you is this feature called the Serial Plotter. So you can access that by going up to Tools and Serial Plotter. And what this does is it creates a graph that works over time. So right now I have readings coming in every second. And so what it will do is it's going to plot some data every second that it sees something. So you can see that I just moved the flashlight over. It grabbed a very high value. I'm going to bring it over again. Just hold it here. And then here's a piece of brown paper. So you can see that the brightness dropped. And now I'm in natural lighting. So you can kind of see where I'm at. And so this will go on and on and on and on. And what you can do is you can use this serial plotter to have a visual representation of all of the readings over time. So if you're looking for a way to create a graph and you don't feel like setting up something external, like writing all these readings to a CSV file and then converting that CSV file into a graph, you can just use the built-in serial plotter and the Arduino IDE. So this is just something really nifty that I found a few days ago and I didn't realize it even existed. And I, maybe like you, have been using Arduino for a long time and didn't even know that I could do this. So hopefully you find this helpful. And if you did, go ahead and like the video. And I'll see you in the next one.